Cheers. You'll get it in a minute. My favorite part about our YouTube channel right now is how every video that we seem to make lately is coming from a viewer comment. So I want to see how long we can keep this rolling. Going back under the trestle, it looks like it's empty again, guys. Yes, and they just mowed the grass. Doesn't look like there's any chance of them being out here mowing today. Well, as I mentioned before, today's video idea comes from another viewer comment. This time it comes from David Lorenzo. Now listen, David Lorenzo has an awesome YouTube channel from down in South Florida. He flies drones, he does a lot of cinematic videos. He flies around the beaches, the intercoastal neighborhoods, parks, things like that. And he does some really good work. So do me a favor, jump over to his channel, click the subscribe button, watch some videos, tell him that Weather Robert sent you, and show him some love. Let's get back to David's comment. David commented on a video that we released a little while ago regarding the 1.11.0 fly-up update. And he, he set his own release notes here, so it's kind of funny. So read through those release notes, but at the very bottom it says, Anticipated for future episodes, remote land and takeoff test revisited. Okay. Well, then he elaborated on another comment from another video that we did. At the very end of this comment, he says, Have a wonderful day. Now go plan the remote land takeoff testing. 100 feet, 1,000 feet, quarter mile. I can think of a couple of reasons right off the bat why I think this is a good video. I don't know if you guys remember, but probably two years ago or so, we, we released a video, one of our first videos with Jack. We set him down and then drove away, a half a mile away, and launched him from that, home, from that point where he was, and then I flew him to myself. That was really cool. I think that we need to elaborate on that, though. The question here is, is can we fly to different locations away from the home point, land, and then take off again? Well, let me see. What, what's the second reason that I think this is a good test idea? Nope, that's about it. <laughs> I'm going to go get Jack out of the box. All right, so let me get everything set up here. We're going to get this test all started. wasn't good. The hardest part about this test was the setup. What I did was I went out that way about, I don't know, I think it was 1,200 feet total. No, I'm sorry, 1,350 feet. And I laid down uh, landing pads in different areas. I think it was at 150, 300, 500, 800, 1,000, 1,200, and 1,350 is the final one. Now, if we can make it all the way out to 1,350 feet, there's a special landing zone out there that I want to see. But I need to get up here and go to the uh, uh, max distance and I need to extend that out to 1400 feet. So max altitude's good, return to home height's good, all these control things are still good, transmission, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> but we're flying with Jack, see Jack the drone, firmware version 1.03.0000 and fly at version 1.4.8. So let's get up there Jack, you ready? All right, we got 21 satellites, everything's good. I'm going to get them up and hovering for a second. Been updated. Uh, Please check it on the sit map. Sit down a little bit, Jack, so I can see you. There you go. All right, he's hovering pretty good, and he's barely moving around. I think I needed to do an IMU calibration last time that I did the or the flew him, but I, for, I forgot to do that. So we'll do that next time. It looks like he's perfectly fine right now. Go down and up. Let me let me get over into cine mode because this could take some finesse. <laughs> Cause I gotta find all I gotta find all those landing spots. <laughs> Let me get them up in here a little bit. I'm not gonna go very high, maybe uh, 20 feet or so. That way I can keep these landing spots in in check here. All right, there's the first one right there in the middle of the screen. So let's fly over to that. That's gonna be 150 feet away. We're gonna see if Jack can land on it and take off again. Yep, there he goes. Pull the gimbal down continue to go up there. I'm probably going to miss these landing spots because I'm not a very good pilot. But this is the first landing spot. Look at that. I stopped right over top of it. These are also pretty small landing spots. <laughs> I just want to keep them out of the dirt and out of the uh, rocks. Come on, Jack. Get down there. So we're 163 feet away. All right, let's land. Is he going to land? Landing. Okay. All right, so we are now 163 feet away from our home point. Whenever I lift off with Jack here, I'm going to have to go back to the safety tab here and update the home point to the controller again. I'm going to have to do that for every flight. The home point has okay, so he took off. Please took off perfectly the fine. Map. The home point is now up where he's at, so I need to go back to the safety tab 
go to update home point click on the controller click OK and now it's updated back to here so it's saying it's 150 feet away let's get up in the air here a little bit more I'm gonna try to find that other landing but well, I see it right there it's almost right in the middle so let's fly up to that landing pad I think this is gonna be 300 feet away my screen just got dark on me see David Florida stuff is happening in West Virginia too so there's the landing pad let me get over to it I'm only six feet up in the air so we're 300 feet away I'm gonna hit land whoops See if he can auto land. And it looks like he's doing fine. Come on, buddy, land on the pad. <laughs> it takes him a while to land. Oh, he missed. Well, now he's in the grass, so I guess walking out there and doing those landing pads really didn't do any good. Let me see if I can hit auto takeoff. And he took off. Nice. And he updated the home point. I gotta go back again to the safety tab. And now he's showing, he's showing close to 300 feet away. Let's go to the next, uh, to the next landing pad. I think this one's 500 feet away. You guys see the, see the uh, landing pad right there? I'm gonna get Jack over to him. Now I'm crooked. As you guys can tell, like I said before, I need lessons. We're getting the gimbal facing all the way down so I can make sure I'm right over the pad. And we're gonna auto land from this point here. Landing. He's at five, almost exactly 500 feet away. Signal is still perfect. Let's see if he can really land on that pad this time. Almost there, buddy. So he doesn't mind these uh, these paper landing pads that I've got, but he, well, he's in the grass. <laughs> All right, so he's 500 feet out. He's in the grass. Let's see if we can even get the motors going. Take get up, buddy. All right, cool. <laughs> Where's the next landing pad at? The next one's going to be 800 feet. So let me go back to the update home point. Go to the controller. Hit OK. She's now updated the home point again. So we're almost 500 feet away at this point. Oh, I think the next one is up here in this road. This is going to be 800 feet away. I kind of like the low flight. It's not It's not so intimidating. <laughs> All right, there, there it is. Let me get over to the left here. I'll pull the gimbal down and continue to fly forward. Not even close, Kevin. <laughs> this really shows how bad of a pilot I really am. So I'm going to try to land on this pad. He's probably going to land in the rocks. All right, let's land him. See, he keeps drifting away from that pad. I'm in steady mode too, and it's still difficult. There we go. I think we're good now. Oh, good. My screen screen just came back too. All right, that is a perfect landing, if almost as perfect. <laughs> All right, so one more time. We're at 800 feet. The next one is a thousand feet, I think, or it could be it could be 1,200 feet. Let's get him up in the air. I think the next one is 1,200 feet. So let me change the home the home point again. This is the most painstaking part, I think. All right, so we're 800 feet out. So far, we've had no problems, David. I think I see it right here. Yeah, that's going to be it right there. So it's almost 1,000 feet. Keep going forward, Kevin. <laughs> Don't be a chicken. <laughs> Back up just a little bit. Let's get him a little bit lower. All right, let's hit auto land and see if he can do it. Landing. Well, he went to the right a little bit, so I'm going to move him to the left. Oh, <laughs> I guess he was okay. <laughs> now look at the signal. We are, we're losing our signal. We're in the moderate signal right now. All right, so let's get Jack back up in the air. We'll auto take off from here, a thousand feet away. Take off, buddy. Motor unable to rotate, check motor, dag on it. Let me see if I can get him started that way. Oh, I got him started. I didn't, I didn't get him started manually. Uh-oh. Come on, Jack, what are you doing? I think he landed on me. He crashed. All right, well, I guess I need to go out there and I've got to physically move him or, or get him for, uh, get him situated back on that landing pad. Sit tight for just a minute. Well, maybe 10. I'm going to bring the GoPro with me this time. I just got to do a better job of landing, I guess. <laughs> There's 500. Here's 800. I was almost to the end. Here's 1,000. Oh, he's in a hole. There he is. I think I see why his motor couldn't turn. It was either that or that. So let's get him back up onto the cardboard. See how small those landing pads are? I should have made some bigger landing pads. All right, so now that we're back in the truck here, let's see here. We've got the drone, they're still connected to each other. Still got 19 satellites. Let's go ahead and auto take off. I think we're going to be 1,200 feet away if I'm not mistaken, the right? Has been updated. Please let, me check the, it on the map. let me get the gimbal facing back down. We'll go over to the, oh, there it is, update home point. Go to the controller. Hit OK. The home point has been updated. 
And now we're back, the home point's back to this location at 978 feet away. This is only 1,000 feet, so we've got two more to go. I thought we were on the, on the last one. I'm going to manually land on this pad because I'm that good. All right, so we're almost 1,100 feet out. We're finding this, this uh, landing pad here. I need to remember, don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry, Kevin. You got all day. And look at the signal. We're back up to a full signal here. Nice and slow. Slow is fast. <laughs> I'm going to pull him forward because he's not even close to the middle. All right, let's land him now. Come on, Jack. You can do it, buddy. Right in the middle. Landing. There you go. We did it. Oh, man, that's cool. So we, we've got uh, the signal is back down to moderate again. I think it's because we're kind of on a downslope or something here. Um, so he's, his, he's having a little bit of connectivity issues. All right, one last time, we're going to raise him up. We're going to go to the 1,350 feet mark. Come on, Jack. Take off. Yes. So he's lifted up one last time. Well, I'm going to have him lift up again because once we get to this 1,300 one, I'm going to try to fly him home. Oh, i got to go to the safety tab. Home point. Controller. Okay. And now he is 1,200 feet away. I think I see the landing pad up here. Oh, home sweet home, maybe. <laughs> And pull the gimbal back down. There it is. I think you guys can see it, and I think you know why I think it's a special one. Look at the color. Heck yeah, it's orange. <laughs> All right, come on, Jack, get up there. We're 1,300 feet away. I want to pull the gimbal down, and I'm going to land him manually again just because I want to make sure that he gets on this pad. Come on, buddy. Keep creeping. I'm going to turn this way so I can get the, the landing pad straight. Let's go ahead and give Jack a land. All right, buddy, to the left just a little bit. There we go, we're almost there. Almost, there we go. Land. Landing. All right, there we go, there you got it. We got 42% battery left, we're 1,330 feet away. I'm gonna take off one more time uh, automatically here. And I'm gonna fly him back home. Take off. The home and there you got it, guys. Please I'm gonna turn him back around and we're gonna, we're gonna come back to the truck. Successful test? Yep. <laughs> well, guys, there you have it. The Mini 2 is capable of flying 1,300 feet away, landing and taking off. As long as you have connection to your controller, you're not going to have any problems. I think I'm going to celebrate and get some nourishment back with the Twinkie and some coffee. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week. God bless.